Like, I really could use one of those right now. I feel like just cutting across. I don't see any other build. YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of the long drive, and my head is on backwards, and that is actually terrifying looking. Wow. Okay, so last episode, we built a rabbit plow, and it was terrible, and we pole vaulted ourselves several times through the air, and yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing. It didn't really work at all, but today, oh geez, oh, we're going too fast. Uh, today, we are going to be stopping at that building over there because it's a new loot spot. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. But yeah, uh, today, I've got some ideas with the car. Uh, I've got a couple of modifications. It was actually stemming from a comment uh, from the last episode. I'm going to flash it up on the screen. Uh, it's pretty genius. So I'm hoping there's some parts down here, and we're going to make the correct modifications to make this car a little bit more useful. Uh, that way, we can continue our long drive. Also, hit that thumbs up button for some UFOs because I still haven't found any yet, and I'm quite sad. All right, look at this. Uh, this is a stop and a half. Oh, let's back up where we could see the road just in case. You never know. Uh, I don't want to miss the UFOs, even though they're never going to happen for me because my game's broken or something. I don't know. Uh, also, we need to find a replacement dash. Uh, this one's a little bloody and gone, so... All right, turn that off. So... One of the modifications, somebody said take the doors off. So we're going to take these back doors off. There we go. Take this bad boy out. We don't need this. Wait, can I not strip the seat? Um, hmm, I don't think I can. Well, somebody suggested putting the doors up near the front. Like attach them to the front of the car and try to use those as a plow. Now, I don't know if I can do that. That might be a little tricky, but I like the idea of detaching these. And basically getting rid of the doors and making these, like, railings to keep stuff in. Um, it's kind of weird we can't remove this seat. Like, I really wish we could remove the back seat of this car. I think the station wagon you can. Huh. Does Komodo want to switch cars again? Not really. I, I think just sticking the two barrels back there with the, uh, the poles sideways, that would work. Speaking of station wagon style cars, this thing is a pile of poop. Wow, that is in rough shape. Okay, uh, anything else useful? There's a motorcycle motor. This will help us wash that blood off the dash. By the way, I hear evil rabbits. There's a hand. Okay, I don't need that. Um, and blue paint. Wow, this was kind of useless. Not gonna lie. All right, well, we can make a couple quick modifications. Oh, can we stick that on the front of the car? That's the grill for the diesel truck. I kind of want to say you can, because technically it's a, a grill piece, and I, we already have the grill piece there. Uh, we'll see if we can do that. I got to wash the inside of this car real quick. This is absolute... Uh-oh. Roger. Okay, let's close the door, just in case they decide they're going to run up here. Wait. Why does that keep dropping from the sky? Uh, you know, sometimes this game's a little broken. Just going to go ahead and put that out there. There we go. That is nice and clean. Let's try not to get killed by the flying door. Okay, I don't need that. I've got already one of those. Uh, okay, so we got those removed. So if we pick these up, I need to pick it up by the end here. Pick it up by the end. We'll turn it towards us. And if I can attach it right at the door, it should block it. But I don't want to block it too high because you got to fit stuff in there. So, boom. Wow, that was completely useless. Um, okay. Maybe I need to do it the other way. So what if I attach it this way? Go boom. Look at that. That kind of looks cool. It's like a got a Mad Max look to it. It'd work better if I can remove the back seat. That way I can set the uh, the barrels in the floorboard. That's the only thing that I don't like that it's doing. Hold on, take this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go full-blown apocalypse car with this. See, this is where the game is ruining my fun. I want to attach this to that. I feel like that would look incredible. Why can't I do that? Can I take this off? Can I put this on in place of that? Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Han. Hold on. Where was the attach point? Boom. What the? You know, that makes no sense, but I kind of dig it. Uh, does it still work like a normal hood? Or did I just dismount it now? I think I just dismount it. I mean, that kind of looks apocalypse-like. I said we got like a little spot for more baskets on the front. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's fine. Uh, 
And we can't mount these, correct? Uh, there's not a mountable space there. Mm, I don't believe so. Uh, that would have been kind of cool to make a ramp out of those. Okay, well, we got a basket here. We should probably get back on the road. Uh, this wasn't that great of a stop, to be honest with you. All right. Uh, I guess we're ready to move. Uh, I'm going to stick this in the back. I think it'll stay. Like, I don't think there's too many opportunities for it to fall out. Especially if I stick it upright. If I get a second one in there, like, I feel like that's going to be probably okay. Uh, it's probably going to murder me in the end. I uh, said so we never found a dash. All right, let's keep going. Folks, look at that. There is a tower up there. That might mean diesel motor. Like, I really could use one of those right now. I feel like just cutting across. I don't see any other build. What just happened? Did we just, what did we just hit? Uh-oh. Um, okay. Uh, let's go back and find... Oh, no. I can't drive without that rear tire. You gotta be kidding me. I can't get any luck anymore. What happened? Okay, I think I see the tire. What else flew out? I still have a barrel. Um, I'm missing a headlight. Uh, I really need the tire. Did I hit a rock there? Uh, I must have. Holy man. Uh, we almost died again. You know, that had to been fate there. So, we were looking at the tower down the road. Well, we crashed and pointed ourselves towards that tower i didn't even see that you can't tell me our diesel motor's not there also what did i hit did i hit that tree maybe i wasn't paying attention and i hit that tree i, I can't really tell you know what i thought was fate actually turned out to be it looks like nothing i thought for sure the whole fact that they turned me towards this building that there was going to be the diesel motor i needed and that is not a thing right now uh, is there anything good in here i mean Oh, there's like nothing. Wow, this is empty. This is so disappointing. Okay, well, we still have one more opportunity to find the diesel. Maybe the ones along the road are a little better. Uh, anything in here? No, this looks pretty empty. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I'm gonna go back and play that noise. What was that? Was that the car dying? It almost sounded like a whooshing noise and then like some knocks. Okay, I'm a little freaked out by what I heard there. Um, let me know what you guys think that was. It wasn't a UFO, was it? No. Maybe? Okay, um, here, let's get down to that tower. That was weird. Okay, so I'm going a little crazy. I'm trying to recall what the uh, alien craft sounded like. That was weird. I'm... What the... What? Uh-oh. Um, that might have been the car. Something's... Wait a minute. Folks. I think we lost our radiator back there. Uh-oh. That's... That's not good at all. Oh, no. We must have lost it during the crash. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta go back to the road. I didn't realize that popped out. Okay, is that it? Holy man, I think... That's it. Oh, wow. That could have been the end of the long drive right there. Uh, especially if we got down to the next stop and not been able to find this. I had to let the car cool off there for a second. That thing was dead. I bet you that was the car that made that noise then. Uh, yeah, it must have been dying because it didn't have the uh, radiator in it. Okay, well, we just solved a mystery, but let's, uh, let's get down to the tower. This has been eventful. <laughs> I feel like uh, the game is now trying to murder me even more than it was before. All right, here we go. What are we gonna get? Please tell me it's some sort of vehicle, right? Right? Come on, game. Come on. Oh, <gasps> yes. There it is, folks. We have a diesel and I hope there's a motor in that. Holy man. Dude, there's another tower down the road. Wow, you know, it's kind of bringing back nostalgia about, you know, two weeks ago when I had the diesel and how kind of cool it was. No, Komodo, you've committed to the car because it's fast. But that diesel, I mean, let's just inspect it. I mean, oh, it's got, okay, it's it's got coolant in it. Uh, well, I mean, it's got a cooler or thingy-mabob radiator. 
Um, it's got the motor in it. What does it have for gas? Technically, we have gas. It's like it's ready for us to take. No, but you've committed to the car. You upgraded this car for reasons, but man, that diesel is just sweet. I miss it. Do you guys miss the diesel too? I had a lot of people say, Komodo, we miss the diesel. Do I dare just take the diesel? Uh, 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 uh get out of here. Oh, okay. Uh, get in the engine. Okay, that's actually better. There we go. Uh, but I say getting the engine out of these is kind of tricky at times. Okay, come on. <sighs> what do we do here? Okay, first you got to drain it because that's uh, no, no juice in there. Um, man, do I do it? Do I abandon the car once again? Komodo can't make up his mind. <laughs> I mean, all I got to do is strip the baskets off and stick it on the side and boom, we got our diesel back. I do miss it. I mean, we had that sweet orange one and I felt so sad actually pushing it off and watching it go. It was kind of an emotional thing for me. I think there's a chance we're going to take this. I, I don't know yet. I I'm debating in my head. Uh, if aliens want to show up and help me uh, make a decision, that would be great. Folks, guess what? We're doing it. We're back to the diesel. I feel insane for doing this. I don't know why I miss this thing so much. Okay, it's almost full. Uh, we'll have a full thing of coolant. We'll have a lot of oil in it. Oh, this thing's going to be ready. It's be Oh, okay, we need some of that air. There we go. Oh, I am actually excited. We have a lot of diesel, so I don't have to worry about that. Man, we just got to fix this bad boy back up. Maybe we'll make it better than before. Actually, what I do like, it's not the tank one. It's the one with the big trailer or big uh, flatbed attachment, which is nice. So, you know what? This is kind of a dream come true. No extra trailers, though. Like, I want this to still move fairly fast. So, we're going to do it uh, this way. So, yeah, all we got to do is fill it up with uh, fuel. We'll grab our uh, baskets and we will attach them to the side and we'll be ready to go. And we're going to continue the long drive with the diesel. Some people are going to hate it. And some people are going to be like, yes, it is back. And you know what? It's back. I'm happy. Let me have my happiness. Oh, yeah. United at last. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. On, right, let's go ahead and angle our mirrors. We got some extra mirrors on today. Uh, this is my beauty mirror. I get to look at myself. Actually, that's not a bad angle right there. All right, close this. There we go. Oh, please tell me it cranks. I mean, it should. I've got everything in there that needs to be in there. Oh, I'm so happy right now. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, it purrs. It purrs like a kitten. I'm so happy right now. This is stupid that I'm that happy, but holy man. We're back in the diesel truck. I got all my, uh, my baskets on the side. The tank's fully uh, loaded. We've got quite a bit of gas in there. And it feels good to be back, people. It is great. Wow. Never thought I'd be this happy about finding the diesel again. You know, I kind of wanted to just put it in the car, but you know what? We need the storage space. And I, I just like setting up higher. I feel like I'm going to die a little less uh, in this thing. Now we just have to fix it back up. But we'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, what color should it be? What should we do to this one? Uh, let me know. Hey, would you look at that? We had a diner. Wow. Dude, this has been an episode of Great Spawns. Okay, okay. Okay, I forgot how uh, bad the slowing down is on the uh, on the old diesel. We just lost our mirror, too. It's fine. Well, this is probably a pretty good place to stay the night. Oh, we need to put that back up. Oh, okay, nope. Totally missed it. There we go. All right, let's go and kill the diesel. Let's go light up the diner and see what we got on the inside. Oh, this is creepy looking. Hold on, let's go. Ooh, up. There are uh, dead bodies in here, or? I mean, I mean, would you roll up on a place like this at night? Uh, okay, let's go find the lights. This, this is not nice. Hello, any, oh. Um, okay, they're, uh, they were cooking people here. This is totally what it is. Okay, boom, boom. All right, there we go. We got some lights here. Better be armed, uh, just in case. Uh, anybody in here? Huh? Oh, and turn on this light. Uh, wait, Did that light not turn on. Why does that light not work? It's kind of a first. Right again. Oh, wait. Hold on. The back door is busted. Uh, what happened here? 
This is kind of a weird spawn. It's weird that the, uh, the light in here doesn't work. All right, well, we got a keyboard. Uh, turds. More turds. No toilet, though. Somebody stole that. Uh, okay. Well, there's actually not a ton of loot. Let's go check the garage real quick. Okay. Oh, we got some cool cars in here. That's nice. Hold on. Does this work? Oh, look at this. What is up with the body parts at this, uh, stop? Uh, something must be happening here. Oh, uh, is there any bodies in the car? Oh, that's the station wagon. Is this the one you can remove the back seat? Yeah, see, you can remove the back seat in this car. The car I had before, you couldn't. Do we want to take the station? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're taking the diesel. We're sticking with it. Uh, I was just making a joke there. That was a funny. Well, there should be enough stuff in here to hopefully get the diesel in a, a little bit better shape. What is that? Is that a shadow or is that blood? Huh? I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking myself out. Ooh, look at that green. I like that. Okay, let's see if we can find a brush somewhere. By the way, that's a good wheel. We're totally going to use that. All right, let's toss that over there. Uh, I'm looking for a wire brush. Uh, you almost always find them in these stops. I mean, we're finding plenty of legs and stuff. Uh, is it up there? Uh, no, that's a decent tire, though. Yeah, uh, the wire brush, I don't know if I have one, surprisingly. Uh, I use those quite often. Um, maybe we can just brush it with this. Does this does this help? I know the rust almost has to... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was actually helping for a second. Come on, it's totally like we're cleaning this. Uh, what about the door? Can I clean it? Come on, I need you to be nice and shiny. Okay, so it works on the door. The rust is going to be a bit of an issue, though. I can't find a, uh, a wire brush out here. Yeah, because I can clean the doors all I want. Uh, what about the uh, the grill here? Uh, there's a nice funky green in there that I really like. Uh, I'm hoping to get to use it. Uh, what about spraying? I, I don't think spraying is going to knock the rust off, but... Oh! Well, I'll be. Never mind. I lied. Dude, well, I think there's plenty of spray in there. Cool. Tell you what, all feels right in the world when I got this thing again. Huh, let's paint it green. Oh, I have to admit, that's actually kind of pretty. I feel like it could shine a little bit more. Uh, let's paint that grill green, too. There we go. Oh, it could definitely shine more. I probably need to actually use the uh, the sponge again on it. There we go. And let's go hit the other door. Okay. And hit this one. Come on, give me a complete Hulk look. There we go. All right, so we got that. Let me go brush it a bit more, and we'll see if we can uh, maybe, I guess, change some tires, and it's good to go. It's about where we need it. It's beautiful. Hey, look, I found a brush with... Oh, it's actually pretty good. Huh, we could have used this. Well, I'll be. I, I knew... Uh, I was almost 100% sure like there was going to be a brush somewhere. Uh, it's fine, though. We can uh, always brush some of the tires. Oh, look at that. Look at how clean it is. Okay, we're uh, fixing the tires up real quick. Uh, and the rims, come on, there you go. Uh, we'll hit these with a the sponge. We'll change out the bad tires, which I got a couple decent ones. I hear from this little stop. Oh, then that thing's done. Okay, and let's give it a little wash here. Try to make it shine. Beautiful, look at that. All right, we'll change that one out. Oh, let's go ahead and wash this one real quick. Okay, last little upgrade here, and boom. All right, you gotta admit, this thing looks like it's in great shape. This thing is beautiful. Wow. Well, I'm not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that Komodo can't make up his mind about what he wants, but he's really happy about this uh, good old diesel truck again. So uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, what we should do next episode. Thank you guys for watching The Long Drive. We'll see you guys next time.